Happy St. Patrick's Day to you all, uh, especially to you Beatles fans. I got 10, count them, 10 Beatles covers that are going to knock your socks right off. So, hey, buckle up. All right, so 10 outstanding Beatles covers by uh, some of my favorite uh, soul performers. Uh, this one, I, uh, a little bit of a reason for putting this one together, not the happiest reason, but let's just get to the tracks and I'll explain later towards the end of the video. Let's just get right to it here. I know, is that a compact disc you're, you're thinking? Yes, it is, it's a compact disc. Uh, made a little mistake on the old Discogs, was trying to order this on vinyl, ooh, ooh. Got, a, got this in the mail, I'm like, what is this thing? This is not gonna play on my turntable, sir. And uh, it turns out it doesn't. But you know what's on this one? Uh, how about the long and winding road? Aretha, stunner of a version. Uh, wow, a little jazzy. Uh, ooh, great, great version of the long and winding road. One of my favorite Beatles songs, as a matter of fact. Uh, so there we go, Aretha, that's uh, my first one. Oh, we talking about Jerry Butler? I guess we are, I know. You're thinking, if you're a watcher of this channel, is Craig talking about Jerry Butler? I don't, I don't believe it. I don't, I don't. It's true, it's true. Uh, this is a little album uh, produced by Gamble and Huff. Towards the end of their sessions together, uh, they, they did uh, The Iceman Cometh, really a legendary album. Uh, then uh, Ice on Ice, also very good. This one's less good, uh, You and Me. Uh, this is sort of the leftover tracks from the sessions, but uh, one of those happens to be something the George Harrison classic by uh, by Jerry. I mean, what can you say about Jerry? Produced by uh, Gamble and Huff. It's legendary stuff. Uh, and this version of something is uh, worth paying attention to. Uh, really good record. Uh, the album the album is not Jerry's best. That, of course, would go to my favorite, uh, The Spice of Life from 1972. But uh, still worth picking up. Very easy. I think I've got about three copies of this one. Uh, actually also uh, has a beautiful pick of the Iceman himself. White tie, white tie. Uh, closest thing to a white suit in tie form. Um, so yeah, a really cool album. Something, Jerry Butler. Ooh, this one's good, this one's good. I just listened to it uh, moments ago. Lou Rawls, carrying on. Carrying on from, uh, from uh, probably 67, 68. Uh, you know what's on here? How about his cover of uh, Yesterday? Uh, famously produced by David Axelrod. And you know what, David Ax Axelrod always lays, lays some kind of a jazzy vibe to it that makes, I mean, it's a great version of Yesterday. Lou Rawls from Carrying On. Uh, yeah, this record, some of these Lou Rawls records, a little secret, a little secret for everybody. Some of these Lou Rawls records are fantastic, super jazzy, available for, you know, three, four bones everywhere. Uh, and like I say, if Dave, David Axelrod has his producer stamp on it, you better grab that, you better pick that up. Oh, of course. One of the worst, uh, admittedly, the uh, album cover isn't the best. It's weird. Uh, a lot of stuff going on. The Pips with ladies. Oh, oh, um. Gladys is like, oh, I'm alone. How are you alone, Gladys? Look at you. How can, how can Gladys be alone, friends? How can she? Well, uh, you know what? What is certainly not helping her case uh, for being alone is Gladys and the Pips cover of Let It Be. Oh, ah, uh, scorching. Cut. Uh, I think it's I think it's probably one of the best versions of Let It Be. Let me tell you, some people have done Let It Be, including Aretha. No, no, not touching Gladys Knight and her pips. Killing it on this particular jam. Uh, this LP is from 70, 71. Uh, really good LP. Uh, she also does uh, covers of uh, uh, of uh, Feeling All Right. Uh, Everybody is a star. But you know, you know what? You know the killer on this one. I'm talking about the title track. If I were your woman. Oh, oh, legendary jam. But back to the Beatles, uh, of course. Uh, let it be, their version. Ooh, you gotta hear it. I'm gonna put a bunch of links in the comments below. I'm gonna try to make a little playlist here for, for everybody. If you like the Beatles, you're gonna love it when Soul does the Beatles. My man, and also the Beatles man, Billy Preston, encouraging words from 1970. Uh, great, uh, great record. Sold, no copies. I've talked about this before, but the Beatles, uh, good at being the Beatles, bad at doing business. 
And uh, this unfortunately was on the Apple label right around the time when the Apple label was disintegrating. Uh, so unfortunately, not a lot of people got to hear uh, really uh, a super classic, which of course would be, I've got a feeling. Oh, Billy, Billy ripping it on this one. I've got a feeling uh, really, really good uh, song. This is a, this is a good uh, version um, or a good, uh, a good record. I don't love this pressing. I find this pressing a little bit quiet. Uh, I'm not really sure who did the pressing, but uh, really good album. Finding an original one of this, you're not going to. Nobody bought this album. Apple was, you know, basically being destroyed at the time. Billy was like, what, what? Went to A&M with his next, late, uh, next uh, uh, record. But again, uh, if you see this one in the wild, even in this pressing form, yeah, it's pretty good. But again, I find it quiet. I gotta jack my stereo all the way up to 11. Rip off the knob, as one does. But uh, I, I don't like that in a pressing. But anyway, encouraging words, Billy Preston. Oh man, oh, the Otis Redding story. I didn't have this on an album, but I do have it on the Otis Redding story. It's a two part series, this is volume two, Deep Soul. Uh, very nice record. I think this is probably like from the 80s. Uh, anyway, how about Day Tripper? Day Tripper by Otis Redding. Come on now. Come on. Oh, version, friends. If you haven't heard uh, Otis Redding's version of Day Tripper, please, again, I'm going to put a little playlist in the, in the comments below. Check it out. Of course, you know, given the opportunity to operate to uh, show uh, Syl Johnson, Is It Because I'm Black from 1969. Legendary album. Great album. You got to have it. You, you got to have it. If, if you like, if you like uh, soul... You got to have this album. Uh, anyway, there's a great version to come together. Not my favorite Beatles song, there is that. to be fair. But uh, Sill, Sill rips it out of the park on this. Obviously, the title track on this album also is just going to slay you. Uh, Sill Johnson from 1969. Uh, is it because I'm black? The song, Come Together. And, oh, what do we got here? What do we got? We got to Ike and Tina. Oh, I love me some Ike and Tina. P particularly this album, which is just an absolute stunner. Uh, this one, uh, whoa. She came in through the bathroom window. Ike and Tina ripping. Uh, Ike just killing it on this album. Uh, some dirty riffs. It's like, Ike, you are a dirty man. Why? Oh, Ike. Oh, Ike. Uh, anyway, she came in through the bathroom window. Ike and Tina. Good version. Uh, given the opportunity to show this, of course I am. Uh, uh, this is uh, Dwayne Allman, the anthologist, would be very, really sh very shortly after his death. Very, very cool um, release. Uh, got, a, got a nice little book. It's not even little. It's it's big, friends. There's some beautiful pictures in here. Uh, really, really cool stuff. If you find if you see this in the wild, which I found this in the wild for 15. I was like 15. Yes, give it to me. Give it now. Give it. Uh, anyway, uh, Dwayne Allman anthology. What's the song on this one? Oh, how about Hey Jude by Wilson Pickett, The Wicked One. Uh, I'm putting it in the comment, but you got to hear Hey Jude. The solo by Dwayne, uh, who, again, master of the guitar face. If you've ever seen uh, this man ripping, the guitar face is what made him a legend. But uh, anyway, uh, yeah, Hey Jude by Wilson Pickett with Dwayne Allman on some fierce, fierce soloing. Uh, yeah, you got to hear that version again in the comments. Let's close her out here with a little bit of a classic. Um, how about Kim Weston? Oh, it's a really good, really good album. Surprisingly good album. I was, Kim, Kim's ripping it. Not only is Kim obviously gorgeous, but wow, uh, just destroys it on this album. And you know what? Covers a, a pretty mean Eleanor Rigby. Kim Weston, four poster bed, 1970, 70, maybe 79. But whatever the case, uh, another outstanding Beatles cover that you gotta hear. So, yeah, like and subscribe. Please, share this with your friends if they are also Beatles fans. And I'm telling you, these tracks, they're, they're, gonna, they're gonna change your mind about Soul and the Beatles. And of course, to close this out, uh, unfortunately, a little bit of a, a somber note, uh, I'd like to dedicate this whole video, it's a tribute to uh, Brooke Palm, a uh, lovely lady who I worked with and unfortunately passed uh, the previous week uh, very sad, very well loved woman, very funny, uh, always quick with the with her wit, um, lovely person. In her cubicle, uh, she was uh, decorated uh, her cubicle with Beatles pictures. 
Uh, and I was looking forward to her returning from the hospital uh, so we could talk Beatles albums. I wanted to hear her top five. But um, at any rate, uh, my condolences obviously go out to her family and to everybody who loved her. And it's just, at, at, at the company that I work at, I'm telling you, uh, wow, uh, a lot of love for Brooke. Uh, she was a great, great woman. Uh, so yeah, uh, hate to end on a, on a sad note, but again, this is a tribute to uh, a great life, and all I can say to you, friends, is that, hey, live your lives. Get out there. Uh, you never know. Things sometimes don't go right. Uh, so at any rate, uh, I am going to see you on the next one.